AI hands is still an issue that we have to deal with open source models. In this case, I'm showing an SDXL render, which I run through my Flux setup. Flux is the best open source model to fix hands, especially some really complicated stuff. Like here we have two hands holding the lightsaber. This is the workflow. And if your computer is not good enough to run it, to run Flux, I'll show how to run it on the cloud service in a second. Let me go through the workflow. First, we load the image, and this is the manual workflow, meaning you have to paint the area that you're going to treat. In the next video, I'll show how to do it automatically, but in this particular case, we have to manually fix a part of the image. And it can be anything, it can be hands, it can be a food. Let me go open it in mask editor, and you just do a lousy mask around it. It really doesn't have good at all. Click save. Now we have a mask created on this image. Then this mask goes to the sex. Masks to segmentation node is very important because that then later gets fed into this detailer big sampler. With here sex get up pressed to 512 pixels from that tiny little hand. Then it renders hands much better. The problem is that if you render flux at a portrait mode, or not necessarily portrait mode, but if you have more pixels on a hand, you can get a hand that looks much nicer. But if you kind of zoom out from a character, the hands start to screw up. On this particular, well, Spider-Man guy, I didn't do any fixing. So it depends on the quality of render and the way to fix the hands from being blurry and ugly is to upraise them and then run flux again. One little trick I need to show in Photoshop, if you don't have Photoshop, 4P is an online free version of Photoshop, it's exactly the same. Sometimes certain hands won't get fixed because when it's denoising it, it's kind of blurring this stuff out right there, but it's still going to try to make a finger there, even flux will, will screw this up. So. A good idea is actually to just go and paint this out, which I did for this image. I did go and I shaved this a little bit. It helps immensely because very awkward shape sometimes creates a lot of problems. And you can do it here. I don't think I actually did it. Uh, or I can limit the length of the hand by doing stuff like that. And then I will go and mask it all out inside mask preview, mask editor in ConfUI, and it will create a new hand. And this is the example of the hands it created. Let me show other stuff. We have our low diffusion model, our flux dev, which is plugged into the model node on detailer. Then we have the VAE, the variational order encoder for flux, which is plugged in into VAE node. Then we have dual clip loader, because we have to use two clip models for flux. God knows why, honestly. And in this case, the prompt is incorrect because I use this prompt to upress the face. I will put something like two hands, five fingers, and let that help and guide the generation. We have to pipe it through flux guidance by the nature of it and into the positive and negative. Negative stays empty for flux. We don't need to put anything into the negative. And out of all these options, the one thing that you need to play with you can change the guide size resolution if you want to make it like 1024. You can increase the steps or decrease them if you need better or low resolution. And the denoising value is the most important. If denoising is below 50, it will create you a very random image because it's trying to mix the noise, latent space noise, with your original image, and that mix creates your final hands. So if there's too much noise, over 50% noise, then it creates something entirely different. It, create you, it can create a metal bucket or another head there. It's really random. But if the noise values very little if we are just keeping our old image then we also just keep our old ugly hands so it will not help i found that values between 060 and 075 are good and i won't be running it right now i will run this now at run comfy and by the way if we want to get this network with a bunch of others it is available on my Patreon with a few other workflows, extra tutorials. Go check it out. The link is in the description. Now I'm inside Run Comfy to run this setup. It's the same setup as I had before, 
but we can run it on the cloud server and therefore much faster, though we do have to pay for it. I usually pay for increments of 20, 30 minutes. In run coffee, we do get a trial of 25 minutes to run it on a lower end machine, which is actually I'm using right now because it's the cheapest one and I'm using the simple workflow. You can see here I'm doing the same thing. I'm doing the mask like you would do well on your local browser version of ConfiUI. The link for this setup will be in the description. It's an affiliate link. Just you can jump here, run it without any problems with the setup. We don't have to install anything. Everything is just running. It's, everything is already updated properly. ConfiUI honestly is a bit of a problematic piece of software that you always have to check update and it run with different comp conflicts now i will run this model and on this machine it will take a while to load flux you still have to load it and it will take like a minute just to load it but once it's loaded running the hand maturations is actually very quick i have this rg3 compare node to compare to images a and b between each other and you can see the the new generation of the hands is better than it used to be but not perfect that bottom hand is a bit broken i will run a few more because it only takes like 16 seconds to run this to update and normally i will run it many times and i have this batch setup where i can run say 10 photos 10 screwed up hands autom automatically locate the hands and faces improve both hands and faces because those are the two that usually burst during the render. This is an example of the multi-folder automated batch mask workflow to fix multiple images and multiple faces. I will talk about it in the next video so you can subscribe. After running a few iterations, I got these hands. They're really quite nice. Very organic holding, very complicated hold, you know, to, uh, holding the lightsaber. Two hands all intertwined. This is a very complicated task. I don't think SDXL, any type of setup in SDXL can, to be honest, manage this. And I did another test, but it was pretty ugly. It saves to the output folder and it can download all the files from the output folder. Now, if you want to grab this from Patreon, I have all the workflows there with extra videos. And if you want to launch it on the virtual machine, I have the link in the description if you want to play it play with it for free it will take a few minutes to set it up it, it's a bit slow to set up the machine but it's great if you have it running so thank you for watching and see you in the next video